actually want to start up another episode of Watch Me Fail. So, sure. Let's go. I fail no more. I don't go to bed. Then. Well, I don't even know if I should go to bed. I should just probably call in before I uh, go to bed. Wait till like 2 in the morning. Uh, yeah, it's already uh, 1.51 in the morning. Yeah, it's already 1.51 in the morning. Calling at like four. I can probably just leave a message, I think. Right? Mm. I have no idea. I'd never call it. So, uh, yeah, we're looking for a battle here. And uh, again, if this shit actually works, then it's already not a fail. Yeah, he is just average. This shit's too old. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. My, my co-host person, other person thing is going to walk away now and go look at stuff. They're probably boring. Anyway, I guess he just wanted food. Maybe. I'm not going to find a battle. This is going to be the ultimate fail. For my Watch My Fail series. These servers are up in this game is kind of amusing. Like I'm actually surprised that they're still there. Um, there's probably literally a server on a rack, literally just dedicated with a fucking like sticky note on it saying Tatsunoko versus Capcom Wii, and that's it. Like that's all that they give a fuck about. They're like, whatever, we'll let this thing run forever. That's probably all that there is. Is just this thing sitting on a fucking rack somewhere. Like, hey, here's a server for a game that nobody gives a fuck about. Enjoy, guys. Nah, it's just a laptop in someone's basement now in Japan. Battle. Yeah, they actually had some decent ideas for this shit, but A, I'm not good enough to get any of them, and B, just, I don't want to do it, so no one does. except for the people that have mastered this game and are just playing constantly. It's a fun game. It is fun. For a Wii game. Yeah, especially for a Wii game. Like... I like the backwards compatibility for controllers. Yeah. It's smart. It's, yes, it is. Especially with fighting games. That was really cool. I know someone was like... Looking at uh, the nunchuck and the Wiimote, mm -hmm. and how it's basically they took two different controllers and melded them. Like they took the N64 center of the the tri controller mm -hmm. and made it the nunchuck, and they took the old um, the old Nintendo controller and made it the Wiimote, and they just changed the buttons around. I thought it was really inventive. Yeah. And then they made it accessible for old people. No, old people cannot use it. Yeah, they can. No. No. They don't need the buttons. They need the... I can waggle it around. I can play golf. I can bowl. Yeah, I guess. That's it. Yeah. And you don't have to do it, like, crazy hard. And it, it doesn't even need to be that good. Especially when you're talking about old people, like... Whoa, it moved. How do they do that? Where are the wires? Yeah, that's literally... And I love yeah. just how, like, my grandparents or my old people are more technologically advanced than my own mother. Like, my grandmother had a computer and knew how to use a computer and email before my mother did, or I did. Yeah, some people stay really up on top of that. Like you and me, we're probably gonna grow up and we're gonna be like, way the fuck on top of that shit. And then at some point it's just gonna be way too high. Like, it's gonna be higher than us. At work, I think about that all the time. Like. I don't think technology, because we're in a generation of like such fast advancement, I don't think technology is ever going get, to get ahead of us. I think we're going to be well in delved with technology far into our like hundreds, or at yeah. least 80s. And you know, I'm sure by the time we're 80, they'll have bionic legs perfected, because they already have them now, in Japan. 
They have these uh, legs that you can put on that allow you to lift, I think, 25% of your own body weight, so it makes it more adaptable for like healthcare providers and nurses and stuff like that to move bodies, move people around. <laughs> the elderly or the injured. And it was made by like Toyota or something. I'm sick of seeing like people always try to make technology really small. I'm like, oh, it has to be small. It has to be small. Cell phones started off huge. Oh, but as technology advanced, they slowly got smaller. But like, I like to see. Found somebody. It's not the same dude. Woo! I would gladly take a um, a phone that's twice the size of my phone for the battery. If it was. The, the other size was the battery, and it lasted a week. Yeah, but that's because you're on your phone all the time, like every other fucking... Um, like every other person on this planet, now that we have computers in our pockets. Oh, I can watch YouTube videos? Oh, I have plenty... I have... I have ten hours to do nothing, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I have a smartphone. Oh, it's gonna die soon. Boring. There, I just made a commercial for a wealthy company. Verizon. Get on it. Fuck you, Verizon, too, man. Fucking... When the droid... The droid came out, they're like, the droid does. And they, uh, they're like, $30 unlimited. And now, what they're doing, the new thing that I was told when I, I got my phone, because I got grandfathered in, the next time I get a phone with Verizon, I'm gonna have to pay $50 for one gigabyte of data. When I used to have unlimited for 30. The connection there is pitiful. And it's like, hey, yeah, we're just done trying to, you know, give anything you're gonna want a lot. So, we got the phones you might want. Buy our stuff. It's just weird. He's not playing super aggressively. He's playing very defensively. Yeah, he played as a fighter. He doesn't have the, the fire attribute. If you paid as your attributes, you'd realize that. Probably more on the technical side. Wait. Very aggressive. Bring your view out. Yep, get aggressive. Do it. What? But you don't even know how to play. You gotta read. Oh yeah, just turn your back on him like, I don't even care about your players. I got lost on which one I was. I was. I didn't even know. I shouldn't have jumped down to her. How are you supposed to know? This actually hurts my eyes. I don't want to sound racist, but every black person on Long Island gets honey maple turkey. There's like something in the fucking the coating. I don't know what it is. They all love it. They're like, Do you have it? Can I get some of that? Thank you. They like need it. Yeah, I'll I'll take a slice. Can I have another slice? Yep, put your bed. Bitch. Yep. A Gakin. Gakin. A Gakin. I think, like, every time I play against a I think of, like, 
education. Alright, you know what? I have a chance to pick this kid, so I want to pick characters that you can play. Yeah, yeah, that's uh. Should as long be, as he uh... rematches, which, if he's a pussy bitch, he might not. Alright, he's up there. Let's go. He heard you. He's watching your uh, video right now from the future. Oh, then he already knows what happens. Yeah, just fast forward and see that he loses. Well, the future isn't secure, bro. Alright, so, I have to play a little seriously then. Alright, so. Should be, uh, Yamamoto. Not the right name, so. <laughs> it's like it's some bleach shit right there. Uh, yeah, something like that. They all, they all sound the same. Like, Joe the Condor, that is not a uh, Japanese name at all. 